World at War. America Conquered. Uh, lock and Loads. Tactical. Platoon level combat in the Third World War. It says it right there. So what do I think about the game? Um, it's a lot of fun. When it comes right down to it, in the end, it's a lot of fun. I've played it uh, face to face, I've played it on Vassal, and I've played it solo. And it's fun. Uh, maybe it's not the most in-depth war game out there, but it's fun. I have my issues. Um, and I don't know what it is about the lock and load games that do that to me. Um, World at War have similar niggling just things that get to me. And it's not as bad with Nuclear Winter, I think. Um, the box size really bothers me. The warped boards get to me. Um, and I know the advice there is Hey, let the company know and they'll replace it. I don't I don't want to do that. Um, and then I did it I did it with nuclear winter and the boards that came were still worked. It's hot here, maybe that's what's doing it. I don't know. Um, I just prefer paper maps, I think. Not not a big deal, honestly. Um, the component quality of the chits is amazing. Uh, they feel nice. Uh, it's interesting you can feel a little subtle difference in some of the counter sizes. That doesn't really matter though. Uh, I like, and I, I don't know what I was expecting, the four geomor geomorphic boards, the smaller boards that you can put together in different ways. I like that the scenarios in this are excellent. They tell a story. Um, I've played through the Texas War of Independence, and it, it takes you through the, the story of what Mark Walker is trying to portray. In the America Conquered scenarios, the first one, like I said, it's, uh, what is her name? It's like Gutierrez or something. She's out on patrol, or she's a police officer, she's out on patrol. She sees something weird, she goes to investigate. And it's Cubans landing on the beach uh, in Florida. Bonkers. Um, she calls in the SWAT team, the SWAT team comes in. SWAT team calls in the National Guard. And then the, co the Cubans are coming with kind of waves of their guys. The essence of that is really cool. And especially if you can find someone or do it solitaire to play through that linearly. Uh, my thing with it, while the storytelling is awesome, and I really do appreciate it, playing with someone, usually you end up, and maybe it's a fault on my part, I usually end up playing scenario one, oh, it's an intro scenario, let's play this. I think playing over and over again scenario one of America Conquered wouldn't be that interesting. So what's the solution to that? Don't play scenario one and over and over again. I've played it. I have that that bit of story in my head and I can move on. Um, so I, I think for me what I need to do is just find the scenario to introduce someone in, into the system and into this game in particular. Um, which is pretty much what Kev Sharp did with me. He said, okay, you know, you're complaining about the rules in this game. Let's just sit down and play it. And when it comes down to it, that's what it's about. So we did, he showed me, I don't even know what the scenario was called. One of the scenarios of Blood and Bridges, and it was a blast. We each had five or six tanks, and you're maneuvering and trying to get the guys pinned down. That's what this game, that's what this system is all about, is getting tanks on the map and blowing the crap out of each other. And it does it really, really well. Um, so even though I've kind of bitch and moaned about, and I, and I cut some of it out, um, because I, I hate to just keep hitting the same points, and I don't want to do it here. 
when it comes down to it at the end of the game, it's fun. It's a lot of fun. Uh, I have pre-ordered um, the Eisenbach Gap reprint that they're doing, the second edition. And playing this, I don't regret making that purchase. I'm fighting everything I have to not buy Blood and Bridges. And um, I don't know some of the other base games. It's it's fun. Uh, it's so fun, in fact, that I purchased uh, the Lock and Load Squad Infantry System uh, Forgotten Heroes, the Vietnam game, because I like what the company is doing, and I. And I like their philosophy. Um, while I have my problems with some of the way they do things, basically I think Mark H. Walker just wants to put out fun games, and this is one of them. I won't talk. I won't talk about Forgotten Heroes because I haven't played it. I haven't even read the rules yet. But it seems like what, that's what they're trying to do. I have Nuclear Winter, which is a blast. I have Space Infantry, which is a blast. Um, that's actually a really cool solitaire game. So I'm going to support them, um, and not just for them being who they are, but for putting out really, really fun games.